folks welcome back to the channel as always thank you for clicking on this sub mug allow me to use my outdoor experiences to a better yours now today once again bright and early beautiful sky we are taking out the jumbo finally i did take it out one other time to the little reservoir here right down the street from my house just to make sure that sucker didn't take in any water or anything like that that was a struggle i literally dragged the trailer from my house to that little reservoir well, was not fun but it floats doesn't take on water motor cranks beautifully so we're gonna go take it to a real little lake couple purposes to this video one let's make sure this boat is good everything's smooth everything works i also want to get a sense of feel of what i'm gonna need for this bad boy moving forward i can't mod it up if i've never put it on the water and seen what i need with it again this is my first boat so i really don't know what all it takes what all it goes into it so this is just kind of an experimental trip to see what i might need for these upgrades that i have been thinking about getting for this bad boy two brought the sticks we're gonna do some dangling three now originally this whole john boat idea came from hunting not really fishing my idea was to get into lake conroe dump a small boat somewhere and try to boat over to some areas that just have not gotten traffic by people i hunt sam houston national forest and it's tough people kind of park and walk maybe an hour or two tops but i thought if i can get in a boat and swim across across the spot across the lake to a spot where people can't really access on foot my odds might go up so that was really my original thought behind getting the boat and then this year i started getting into bass fishing and here we are which is why my intention was never to turn that john boat into a bass boat i wanted to keep it a john boat just a really efficient useful john boat convenient compact small all-in-one i will one day get a bass boat and then that'll be for bass fishing that was my original intention for that that's why i don't want to deck it all out get a big old deck because i won't have space for a dead deer so yeah that is the plan for today check this boat out do some fishing and then do some scouting on this public land for possibly some some hunts this year i did apply for the antlerless permit i hope to baby jesus i get it this is year four applying for it i heard usually by year two or three you get some luck but not here if i've got an hour drive up to lake conroe to a little spot at the very 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 north part of the lake i'm not in the big lake no way this little bad boy is not ready for that big lake wow i need a transom saver for that bad boy my thing is just hopping around back there so let me shut up i am gonna pick up some gas pick up some tacos no the place is not tacos does it? Dang it, dude. I get this bad boy on the water. Hopefully, I don't butcher this solo boat launch. Okay, so we'll see. I'm not sure how I'm going to set everything up. Got a paddle there. Got a paddle because this thing gets hot. Ouch. Old fishing box. That's right there. Old fishing rods. Camera gear, water. I was gonna bring the cooler, but it's starting to get kind of, kind of tight in here. It's almost too good for me. I don't know if it's too good. Hold on. All right. Fishing stuff, camera stuff, gas, fly jacket, anchor, more fishing stuff. I think we're ready to go. Not as easy as a walk into a bank, that's for sure. Cool, 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 cool. All right, no water getting in. Sweet. Man, as much as I want to go crank this boat out, I want to rip me some lips with this frog. All right, 
I know we're supposed to get into the boat and all that good jazz, but this place is screaming. There's fish coming out top water everywhere. So let's put the boat to a pause. I'm not even gonna turn on the motor yet. Look at that. I gotta get a trolling motor on this. That is number one. Failed fishing mission, brief fishing mission. Let's just rip it. Need this bad boy. Put that bad boy in there. Put the neutral. Turn on the gas. Hold that. First time fully running in, so. And luckily, this outboard has a neutral. Screw that, there's a lot of trees down here. We got a propeller. Taking on the water. No. Yeah, see that? It's not cool. Alright, let's get up out of here. Go back down to the lake. Yeah, so we're gonna head back towards the main lake. I'm really not familiar with this water, it's super low. There's a bunch of stumps kind of everywhere. There. Ah, and I don't want to mess up my motor. And Lord forbid I actually crack this hole or something. But that's cool though. This, this is nice. Alright, so we're going to take it slow. Because there are stumps galore. I hope it's just this side of this little creek, but there's one. Hurt me. Right. Not right in the middle. Kind of off to the side. That's not fun. Alrighty, gang. We're having some technical difficulties. Hi, tail it. Some calmer waters. It's doing good. Ran good. I've kind of been turning her on and off more than I want, but what does that matter? And yeah, we got gas. Plenty of it. Ow. I ran it for more than 10 minutes. 
There's some shade. Okay, let's try to give this bad boy a couple cranks. It's in neutral. It's got gas, gas is open. Got the safety lanyard in. Let's just to restart to give it a little juice. That's not gonna be fun to have. Good thing is we're not taking on water. Bad thing is, I've already uh, gone about half a mile down. So that's gonna suck paddling back up. Outboard seems to run dandy until it's time to muster up. So darn, thought we had a little jump boat here. It's all right, I haven't done anything to this motor. It could probably use some new spark plugs or clean the carb. All right, guys, quick update. We pulled up to a little shore here to take a little break. Plan of this video was to kind of crank the boat up, crank the outboard and let it rip, see how far we can take it, and then also explore some of this Sam Houston National Forest for this upcoming season. Unfortunately, we went upriver a little bit, ran into a bunch of stumps, a bunch of them. So turned it around, started going down back towards the main lake where I was hoping the water, the water levels would go up. They are extremely low, just like every body of water. And yeah, dude, I was, I was getting banged up over there. My outboard was getting banged up. So busted a UE, came back this way, started going maybe about half mile out and I turned the outboard off to do some fishing. I'll, I will say I should have just kept going and I didn't want to crank back on. I tried everything, I've got it tilled up now. Maybe that'll do something for a little bit, but it definitely needs some love. It turned on and off perfectly fine about three to four times, but that fifth time it did not, it, it didn't want to budge anymore. So we're gonna give it a break and paddle back and uh, do a little fishing on the, on the way back, see if I can't catch anything, so stick around. This is probably gonna be one of my least greatest videos, but thank you guys for watching. Alrighty, folks, that is going to do it for this video. Didn't do everything we wanted to do coming out here, but you know what? We got this bad boy on the water and tested, and clearly we've got some deficiencies. What's up, tree? So, yeah, we've got to work on this outboard. Crank the first time perfectly fine, second, third, I think even the fourth time, but once that fifth time came around, it did not want to crank anymore, and it still doesn't. I just tried a little while ago. So, not sure what's going on there. It's got gas. I made sure to put the, ch the the kill switch in there. If you guys know anything about these outboards, I don't. Hit me up in the comments. Hook your boy up. If not, I'm probably take it apart when we get home. Maybe change the spark plug. Check out that carburetor. Probably buy a whole new carb. I'm sure they have a whole little kit. But realistically, I might even get rid of it and just go with the whole trolling motor. I got the trolling motor at home. I just need to get the, the batteries and get all the cabling done. So, didn't get to fully run this and I started going up river and I was hitting stumps like nasty. I mean, they were banging my thing up bad. And then started going down river and that's when we had outboard problems. Tried to do some fishing in between. It was a little tough between trying to get your position and then try to fish. I cannot wait to get that trolling motor. That's gonna definitely help out a bunch. And then definitely did not do any scouting. I probably got half a mile that way and a quarter mile that way. But nonetheless, we got outdoors, had a good time. I've been wanting to take this big bad boy out just to take it out. The trailer did beautiful and looks sexy. But I do have a better idea of what exactly it is I want to do to this. Like I said, I got to get a trolling motor up there. I've got plenty of space to do stuff. So I'm not going to put a deck on it. Got to find a way to get some lights on here. I'm going to go home, fix what I need to fix, and then get back out here. I promise you guys, we got some more content coming up. Like I said, hunting season is upon us, and we are going to be out in those fields and do some hunting. And then, of course, we've got this video coming soon. I've got a couple goodies coming in the mail and still a couple more things I have to order for this bad boy, but it is a lot. Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. I forgot what those things are called. I swear, we're gonna get on one of those on this channel, one of these days.